Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about data structures and in the previous tutorial we discussed about queue and its operation and today in this tutorial we'll see how to implement queues in Python. So we can implement queues in two ways. One is using list and another one is using the classes of different modules. Today we'll discuss about how we can implement queue using list and in the next tutorial we'll talk about the second option. So queue works in the first in first out order and the two important operation of queue is nq and dq. nq is nothing but adding the element to the queue. dq is nothing but removing the element from the queue. And one more important thing, queue will be open at both the side. That's why the insertion and removing the element is performed in different ends. First entered element will be removed first. All right, so this is about the queue summary. So next we'll see how to use list as queues. For that, for nq operation, we can use the append operation. So it will add the element at the end of the list or queue. And for dq operation, that is to remove the element from the queue, we can use pop method. For nq, we can use append method. For dq, we can use pop method. In the previous tutorial, while implementing the stack using list also, we used same method, right? Append will add the element at the end and pop will remove the element from the end. So if I use append and pop, then it will create a stack, right? But here we want queue. In the queue, the operation that is insertion and removing the element is done in the different ends. So for that, in the pop, we need to mention the index of the element. That is nothing but zeroth index. We don't want to remove the element from the end. We want to remove the element from the front. So this side, right? So that's why we need to use pop of zero. So I'll show you the example, then you'll understand this. So to create a queue first, empty queue, you can create an empty list like this. Next, to add the element now, what do you need to do? You need to use append. For example, I'll append 10, okay? Done. So now if you want, you can check the queue, right? Next, next I'll add 20. Next, I'll add 30. Now if you want to check queue, here we can see 10, 20, 30. Elements are added like this. Now if you want to remove the element from the queue, that is if you want to perform DQ operation, then you need to use queue dot pop and you need to mention the index here, zero index, remove from the front. If I didn't use any index, it will remove the element from the end then it will create a stack. We don't want stack here. We want to perform insertion and uh, removing the element in different ends. Here we entered the element in this side. Now we need to remove the element from this side. So now if I enter this, here we can see first 10 will be removed. The first entered element is 10, right? Here we can see. And the first removed element is also 10. Now again, if I use this, 20 will be removed. If I again use this, 30 will be removed. If I again use that, it will give a error message, pop from empty list. Okay, so in this way, you can use the append method and pop method to perform nq and dq operation. You can perform this operation in another way also. As I explained you, you can insert the element in another side and we can remove the element in another side. That is nothing but you can insert the element from this side and you can remove the element from this side. For the nq operation, you need to use insert method, insert, and here you need to mention the index. At zero index, you want to enter, and here you can enter the element. For example, here. Next, here I'll enter 20. Next, here I'll enter 30. So now if I check q, here we can see 30, 20, 10. The elements are entered like this. Now, if you want to remove this, you can use the pop method. Pop method will remove the element from the end. So you enter the element in this side, right? Now you can remove the element from this side using pop. No need to mention the index, just mention pop. It will remove 10 first. The first entered element is 10. So first removed element is also 10, 20, 30. Okay, so in this way, you can perform NQ and DQ operation. Next, if you want to check whether this is empty or not, you can use uh, not q. It will give true. So here, not q. Here we can see q is empty. That is nothing but false, right? When I take not q, not q means it will become true. 
it is empty if you take it with the if condition then you will understand that and also if you want to see the element present in the rear side and the front side for example i'll take few elements okay now to chuck the element present at the rear side and front side you can use q of if i chuck minus 1 we'll get 30 the last entered element and now if you want to check the next element which which you are uh, removing without removing that then you can use q of 0 that is 10 it is present at 0 index so i'll show you this nq dq and is empty condition with a complete example so here we have a program i'm not writing this program because it is a lengthy program and it will take time but i'll explain you the program here first initially i'll take q is a empty list fine these are the function definition about this i'll explain you later first here we can see while true here we are asking the user to select the operation whether he want to add the element remove the element whether he want to see the queue or quit the program we'll ask the user to enter that choice here it is just a statement so user will enter choice here and that will be stored in the variable choice next we are using if elif condition if elif else condition and we are checking if choice is one that is nothing but adding the element so i'll use nq function we already defined that function here so i'll explain you about that and if choice is two then dq function here you can see the dq function definition and next if choice is three then display the q so you can call this function display function and if choice is four that is nothing but if you want to quit the program then i'll use the break statement why break statement because here we can see i took these condition in a while body and else condition is enter the correct operation if you enter something else from one two three four then it will print this message why i am taking this in the while condition that is because i want this to be executed again and again until i want to quit so this body of while will be executed continuously until i want to stop the execution until i choose this option for while true means always true so next coming to the nq function here in the nq function we are adding the element so here inside this we'll ask the user to enter the input enter the element and we'll store that in the element variable and using append function we'll add the element and next here element is added we'll print a message next in the dq first we'll check whether q is empty or not if q is empty we'll print this message otherwise we'll pop the element using index 0 next it will print the removed element also next here in the display we are just printing the queue that's it okay so this is about the program so let's execute this so select the operation if i select three it is just a empty two it will print queue is empty if i take one it will ask us to enter the element again one i'll enter 20 again one i'll enter 30 done now if i want to remove this press 2 10 is removed and again i'll press 2 20 is removed 30 is removed if i again press 2 it will print q is empty now if i want to show this i can use 3 it is empty right if i want to add 1 add 2 add 3 and if i want to display use 3 it will print that if i want to quit use 4 so in this way this program works so this is about how we can implement q using list so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you next class till then take care